Okay, so we are now in our second session of English conversation class. All right, uh, welcome back to this class. I hope that you understand the situation. Uh, we have uh, Reski here with us. Uh, hi, Reski. Hello, sir. Okay. All right. Uh, Aditya is still with us. Valerie, Mafa, Nelia Putri, Shafri, Secretary Kennedy. Uh, without further ado, I'd like to continue the display of the PowerPoint. Okay. So this one, the next one is congratulations. How to express the congratulation, as you can see in the picture. Um, this uh, person has won a lottery. Lottery is a big uh, jackpot. It's a gift, it's a present, a lot of money in there. You might say, um, which one is better if you would like to express congratulations? Which one from this list? Uh, congratulations. 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 Congratulate. Uh, well, actually, if you say congratulate, it is this okay. Uh, you lucky. Can say, uh, lucky, okay, good. Oh, you're lucky, for example. How marvelous. Uh, marvelous means, wow, that's great. And so, uh, because you would like to express that in a spoken English, so you need to say, um, oh, uh, this is a good thing, marvelous, or congratulations. And then, or you can say, wonderful. Oh, that's wonderful. And what about this one? Mm -hmm. um, the next picture. What would you say? This one. The right one. Mm -hmm. Picture on the right. Um, a couple, a couple, a couple come to a house and then just just move into a new apartment, maybe. Yes. So what would we what would we say here? Move in, mm. new apartment, new baby, location. Mm. So congratulations on your new apartment. Okay, good. Congratulations on your new apartment. Or you might probably say uh, congratulations oh. for your pregnancy, for example. Um, there, there are a lot of things that we can express there. So this is only one of the examples. Ini beberapa contoh. Yeah, this is new baby, just moved in. Um, lots of luck. Can we say lots of luck? Mm, no. Why? Why can uh, we say that? Uh, I think they're winning a lottery, sir. Lottery? So winning ticket. Uh-huh. Uh, the man uh, have a, a ticket or uh, with lottery written on it. So I okay. think they're winning lottery. Okay, winning lottery. So if winning lottery, what what would we say? This is the first picture, oh, right? Congratulations. Congratulations. Oh. Okay. And what about this one? All the best. All when the best. when we should say that? All the best. It means uh, you, you can say all the best when uh, you have when you have a friend, for example, uh, your friend would like to attend a competition that you expect him or her to win. You can say all the best. All the best for you. Yeah. So it's like wish, you know, wish when you wish a good thing for your friend, your family, or your spouse, or your children, or nephews, or whatever you have. So all these things, that's the way how you express congratulations. Um, is there any word that you don't know? I believe you know. Right? Um, occasion. Answer. What? Occasion. Oh. Occasion. Occasion means like a job. Um, it's a um, situation, a uh, specific event, for example, birthday. Uh, birthday party, you can say, in what occasion I should come, for example. Oh, I'd like to invite you to come to my birthday party. Uh, oh. Because you, you don't know, and then I would ask, um, okay, is that a good occasion, for example? So that's occasion, is like an event, seperti sebuah event, uh, but more general. 
more general. Let's just uh, uh, twins, contact, winning ticket, wonderful. Mm -hmm. okay. All right, now we move, on. we move on to the next one. Okay, this, this picture. Uh, what would be the best expression to say about this one? Congratulations. Happy graduation. Graduation. <laughs> this is your dream, right? You want to graduate one day, right? Of course. Yes. Of course you will. Um, I of hope the, course. I hope the best for you, right? So you can say um, congratulations or happy graduation, or you can also say it's a good time. Okay. You can express with your friend, it's a good time. This positive one, you can say that. Boleh. Okay, this, is, this is the question. How do you say congratulations in your language? So your language, you know, is Bahasa Indonesia, right? You can say, Selamat. Can, can you say, Selamat Musida? Selamat Musida. We don't say that. We no, don't say that here. We, 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 we never say, that, say that. We never say that. We just say, um, what, what actually my friends say to me when I was, when I graduated. Uh, they, most of them say, um, welcome to the jungle. <laughs> but my friends say that yeah. uh, when you are on campus, you are living a dream. After you graduate, welcome to the jungle. But anyway, um, so this is the part of the exchange thing. You, you, we need to differentiate when we express that in, in English, uh, it means different when we express the same thing in Basin and Indonesia with our language. Uh, for example, I have a friend when we were in uh, overseas, he started the presentation with Assalamualaikum, for example. We were in the same class. I didn't start with Assalamualaikum because my audience is not Indonesian and I know that they were not Muslim. So it's useless for me if I say Assalamualaikum, for example. But my friend said that and no one responded. So that's a big cultural uh, difference. So this, for example. So that's the occasion. Occasion means the event where you express uh, greetings. In my, in our culture, we can say Assalamualaikum for greetings because you know your audience. But if you in, use that in English and you don't know what faith they have personally, you would say uh, good day, good afternoon, or say hello, nice to meet you all, things like that, right? Okay, so the next one, I'd like to move on. Um, about apologies. How to state apologies in English? Now, we would like to see the first picture. We have here apologize. And then, are you all right? Are you okay? Bump into by accident. We have, don't worry, excuse me, excuse me for, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm late, intentional, mean to, no problem, nuisance, on purpose, back. Oh, pardon me. Push mm -hmm. and then shows. We have tardiness, tardy, that's all right, that's okay, unintentional. So we have here uh, this picture. What would be the best expression to say to this situation? I'm this sorry I'm bumping into you. Good, good, very good. I'm sorry I'm bumping into you. So who, who did the bump into, the man or the woman? The, the man. The man. The man, actually, right? Um, yeah, because I, I uh, well, this is a cultural thing that people use to blame men when things like this happen. Okay, so very nice. Now, the second picture, what would be the best expression to say? I'm sorry, I'm late. I'm late. I'm sorry, I'm late. Good. I'm sorry, I'm late. Um, but if you, if you I'm always sorry for my tardiness. Uh, good, good. If you always come late, every time when you have a promise to be on time and then you come late, you would say, I'm sorry, I'm being tardy. Being tardy, this one, number 21, tardy. I'm being tardy. Tardy means that you don't know about time and you are always late. If you study in the United States one day, I hope so. If you are tardy, never dream to have an A face-to-face -face class, right? That's, that's one thing. Never dream to have an A. 
professor nggak akan ngasih nilai A buat mahasiswa yang tardy. Tardy means that every meeting you always come late. But if it is only once or twice, that's fine. Um, but don't be too late. More than 10 minutes. No, don't be like that. Um, and the third picture, what would be the best expression to say this? Excuse me. Uh huh. Do we have, uh, yeah, we, we do have excuse me. And what is the continuation of that? What should we say? Excuse me for. Um, excuse me for interrupt. In, interrupt. Uh, excuse, excuse me. Please give sure. me. You can say excuse me. Please, please give, give me, me some space. space. Good. Please give me some space. Or um, ini kan ada dua orang nih. You can say excuse us. For example, it's all it's between you and your child or you and your friend. You can say excuse us. If you say it's only about you, you can say excuse me. But but don't don't say it with a strong tone. Jangan di jangan berbicara excuse me dengan nada tinggi seperti excuse me. Excuse me. Don't say that. It has different meaning. Different meaning. Excuse me. Just write it. Rightful. <laughs> yeah. Rightful excuse me. Yeah. It's just say uh, excuse me. Excuse me. I would like to walk. Give me space, please. It will be better if you add please in the end. It's a lot more polite. Okay, now the first picture. What happened? This is dog and then um, a woman standing with her um, mouth like this. And then this lady pointed at the dog and there was something on the floor. Is it poop or trash? No, that's flower. That's flower. Uh, uh, What would you say about this? The dog being nuisance. Being? The dog being nuisance. Being nuisance. Good, good. Nuisance. Um, uh, being... I'm sorry, my dog do, do it by accident. Uh huh. Good. Good. Um, I'm, you, you, Jesse, the, the theme is apologies. So you apologize by saying, I'm sorry, my dog is being nuisance. Or um, I'm 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 sorry I'm I'm so sorry that uh, my dog made a lot of mess. So it is apologetic. It is all right. Apology doesn't make you fool. Actually, apology makes you more uh, human, right? That's the culture. And go on. That's about apologies. Uh, is there any word that you don't know? Unintentional means that you don't, you didn't mean to. That's unintentional. Uh, intentional means that you really intend to do it. That you really mean it. That's intentional. Mean to. Um, when when native speakers say no problem, it means it's alright. Uh, I remember when I was a student, I met an an American and a British in a hotel. I when I worked there. Uh, I said, um, I'm, I'm so sorry for dropping up this next to your table. And he said, no problem. So that's just one of the reasons. Uh, by accident. What about this one? When will you use this question? Are you all right and are you okay? Do you use this question to your friends? Uh, no, we don't. Someone seems not all right. Why, why you don't use that question? I like well. I personally like when my friend asks me that question. Are you okay? Are you alright? Uh, if you are talking to your friend, you don't need to say that. We, we, you know how it feel, how they feel. Oh, uh, okay. okay. <laughs> alright. Uh, Strong feeling. It, it's a very cultural thing. Um, in in Japanese or in Eastern culture, there are things that cannot be said because it's sensitive, but in the western culture they like to say it if it is uh, important for them so that's a different thing it's all right uh, when you ask your friend you you, you see uh, your friend uh, have a problem and then you ask are you okay are you all right just show that you care yeah so for me that's all right nothing wrong with that but never ask this 
Are you sick? <laughs> Don't ask that. <laughs> Don't, are you sick? Are you mad? Don't, don't, don't say that. It's making someone mad. Okay, <laughs> move on. Okay, see, now this is one thing that I like. So, uh, good and bad manners. Okay, good and bad manners. People often judge us by, by our own manners, but manners are actually personal. Okay, now this one, the first picture, what would be the manner? Uh, the woman. Uh... Hmm. Considering over. the woman over it? his foot, yeah. the man. Mm -hmm. it's it's, a, oh, she's a considerate woman. She is being considerate woman. Yeah. Right? yeah. This one, the she blonde one. She's offering uh, her foot to the man. Okay, so it's a different interpretation. She's offering the foot to the man, and uh, the woman is. Uh, uh, consideration uh, to this man it's not consideration yes. mm. all right so let's see actually what happened is that two people are competing each other to get this food right what? and i think it's um, yeah you can say inconsiderate 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 means um kalau dalam bahasa bahasa indonesia namanya enggak menenggang gitu Inconsiderate. Yeah, nggak pengertian. Nah, itu jadi it, it, that's the meaning. When you say, "Oh, the woman is inconsiderate," uh, the man tries to take the cookies, and the woman tries to grab it uh, with her two hands. Like, okay, so it's different meaning, right? Okay, now the uh, second picture. What happened? Uh, the uh, man cut, cut in the line. line. Okay, this one, this lady. This lady cut in the line. So we cut choose line. number four. Cut, cut in line. In line. Cut in line. So what is this? What do we call this one? People queuing. Yeah, queuing. Queuing. So you don't cut in the line. If you do this, you are out of the queuing and then you're standing right at the back. Good. Nice. This one? You know, we like. There's a baby, a woman is looking. Double park. Double park. Are you sure double park? Uh, the truck. Uh, the truck uh, mm -hmm. disturbed uh, the woman when she tried to go out of the park. Okay, good. Nice. Double park, yes. And But the, the closest one from this word, which one? The closest Block. Meaning. Block, yes. Block. Correct. So the bus... Uh, I don't say blocking the, the car. The truck. This is not the bus. This is the pick. Uh, it's pick a up. not pick up. No. Truck it's truck. a delivery truck. Okay, the delivery truck. Uh, block, block the woman's truck. Okay, the woman uh, park. The woman to get park out. Park, uh, to get out, for example. You can you can mm. talk about that one. Uh, so this is blocking. Uh, block. Good. Nice. So we got two sentences right here. Um, this one, the fourth picture. There's a, a girl singing and a woman shouting at her. I think this is loud voice. A guy is carrying something. Box. It's a box. A guy with a hat. It's a box. So what is the best word to say about this one? Mm. Uh, the word is being yes? loud. Oh, loud. loud. So this girl is being loud. The girl, yeah. the girl being is being loud. loud, and then disrupt people. Disrupt, disrupt the people, uh, or so, use this word. The so, um, or <laughs> the the woman shout. The woman to shouted her. her to be silent, to, to be, be quiet, quiet, to be quiet, not yes. not silent, to be quiet. Quiet means there's still noise, but not to be too too loud. Yeah, that's different. Quiet and silent are different. Silent are no noise at all, no no sound at all. No sound at all. 
Okay, now this one, we have show time at seven. Um, there is a, a woman point uh, her finger at the clock seven past five. What happened to these three people? They are late. <laughs> they are late. And what would, what would be the best word to say this? Mm. Pay attention. Pay attention, okay, good. Pay attention to the clock or pay attention to the time. Mm -hmm. The time. Polite. Polite. Mm -hmm. No, delay. Delay, good. Delay, no, I think there's no delay. delay. Um, it's, there's no delay, I guess, in here. Um, they are. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they are. Being they late. Are yeah. delaying. Being late. Kalau means delay, delay means that you postpone the time. Uh, for example, mm -hmm. the movie will start at, at 7, but then um, you postpone it until 7, 5, that's delay. Uh, but then these people came late, five minutes late, and I think it's the ticketing uh, corner, tempat penjualan tiket, they close at 7, 5, so these people cannot get in. And this person, what happened to him? He pointed his hands like this to... This woman disappointed. disappointed. So you can say the word um, interrupt, impolite, interrupt, impolite, impolite. impolite yes, impolite. Uh, imp impatient. You can you can say it impatient. They come late, but they are impatient to have the ticket presented. Okay. Now we move next to the to the the next picture right over here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six picture. What's the best word to say about this one? Impolite. They Impolite. Are disrupt. Impolite. Talking in the class. Disrupt. This. Okay. And who is this? Who is this? Uh, teacher. Lecturer. As the teacher, teacher or lecturer. Teacher. Uh, and these are the students. And you can say the they. Their conversation dis disrupt the teacher, for example. Impolite. Mm -hmm. Disrupt uh, their friends. Mm -hmm. Disrupt their friends. Uh, what else? What about pay attention? They are not pay attention mm. to the front. To the classroom process, right? To the classroom process. Mm. To, they, they did not pay attention. So pay is a verb. So you should start with do or uh, did not if it is negative. They do not pay attention to the class, to the lectures. Okay, good. Um, what about get away with? Have you ever heard this word, get away with? Pernah dengar? Kan ada, boleh. They said like this. Come on, man, just get away with it. Have you ever heard that? Yes, yes, yes. I do. Get away with it yourself or something. <laughs> what does it mean actually? Um, oh, santai. Get away with means that you, um, you, you, you just support your friend that you have to face it. Uh, yeah, it's this all. You, you're not, you're not being so sympathy, but you would like to say, uh, well, that's happened. You have to face it. Just get away with it. Okay. Uh, Hadapi uh, aja lah seperti itu. Hadapi aja lah. Nikmati alurnya. Iya, <laughs> yeah, nikmati alurnya. Uh, atau bahasa Minang sama dengan uh, balai. Balai. Uh. Get away. <laughs> Things like that. Um, okay, so it's so it's actually even though we speak different languages, English, Minang, kalau bahasa Indonesia, even Arabic, but the but the intention is almost the same actually. All right, now that is about good and bad manners. Um, now we would like to see helping each other. This is important in our social communication, helping each other. Okay, we helping have uh, 24 words here, 24 uh, word and expression. We would like to connect this word with the picture. Uh, the first one, what happened? We have professor, uh, this is Professor Joan um, opening a book, and this this woman uh, she shows uh, what confused. confused? 
Yes, thank you. Confused. Yes, confused. Uh, what what would be the best uh, word to express this? Mm. Could you help me, please? Mm. Please. please. Could you please mm. what? Could you please what? Could you please, please help me? Please. Help me. Uh, slow down. Yeah. Slow down, yeah. okay. Sure. Good, good. It seems like... Um, she mm -hmm. confused to uh, the he, professor. He or she? She. 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 Uh, I never I never see he like this. Um, <laughs> this pronoun. Uh, this is this from that's why uh, very gender based ya. Kalau bahasa Inggris sangat sangat sensitif dengan gender. He or she. Um, uh, flight attendants. Seperti misalnya pramugari, pramugara, itu tidak ada keyword, uh, keyword this, but they call it flight attendant. So, masuk semua. Cowok cewek masuk semua, flight attendant. Um, okay. Now this one, Professor Jones, actually we can say, uh, could you please, could you please uh, explain to me more about this? Fine. Uh. Uh, could you so the expression of could you could you could you number five six and seven you can use to show uh, politeness when you ask for help could you please help me could you uh, could you uh, could you please inform my friend for example so could for example like you're talking to me you can say the word could uh, but between uh, for example, between Reski and uh, Adityo or with Alfi, you can say, can I help you or can you help me please, for example. Mm. It's an uh, equal lesson. All right, now we come to the next picture. We have here two women standing next to public telephone service. What happened to them? Uh, it seems like... Uh, Need some money change. The mm -hmm. the girl with a pink uh, shirt uh, as the the lady with a purple dress. Uh, money mm -hmm. to use the phone. Okay, use the phone. Uh, yeah. Does it mean um? Uh, number twenty, sir. Please please pass me the money. Okay, good. Please pass me. Please pass the money. Okay. Um, and can we say number 23, 24, would you like or would you mind? Yes. What, what you like yes, to use my money? Mm. Would you like would borrowing you me? To, bor to lend me Lending, some money. Le lend me, lend. Like, lending me some money. Uh, like that, right? So, yeah, so it, this, this, see, the point is helping each other. Good, good. Or you can also use this one, need help? Um, for example, you see uh, a stranger is having a problem and then you want to help, but you don't know how to ask that. You can say, excuse me, do you need any help? Do you need a help? Jadi beda kultur ya, kalau kita menolong orang di sana, kita harus minta izin dulu. Excuse me, do you need any help? Kalau di sini gimana? Hmm. Inisiatif. We need help, right? <laughs> Kadang inisiatif. Inisiatif, we just help. Uh, we just help. Enggak tanpa perlu, tanpa perlu permisi. Boleh, right? uh, permisi, boleh ditolong, Bu. No, we never do that. Yeah. Okay, good. Now, the, the third picture, what is this? Oh, there's a man. The, the, the man car mm -hmm. is, seems like broke. Okay. The machine, right? The machine. The machine. The machine is having a problem, and there is yep. another man with in in his car looking at him, trying to help. We would like to yeah. say which one? Which one? It seems like the purple man uh, mm -hmm. talk first. So. Okay, the purple man talk first. Um, we can say, could you please, could you please help could me? Please help me. Could you please stop by? Stop by, uh, mampir, berhenti sebentar. I have a problem with my car. Things like that. And then mm -hmm. please help me. Um, and then you can say, mm, May I help you? 
Yeah, may I, may I help you? Give if, a hand. Yeah, lend give a hand. Lend or give a hand means means that you basically you need help. Um, okay, good. This interesting point. This one. Uh, uh, there's a refuser, right? Yes, good, good. It happens a lot. Okay. Um, if you in French culture, budaya Prancis, misalnya, if you treat someone, you owe something. Kalau kalau misalnya kalian ditakdir atau ditolong sesuatu, it means you owe something. Um, that's that my friend who studied in France told me in the French culture. Kalau misalnya yang perempuan ditraktir sama cowok, berarti artinya si cowok suka sama cewek. That's what it means. Di different culture, like, kalau di sini kan, kalau kita mentraktir kan traktir aja, kan nggak ada tiap apa. We just friends. But in, in in French culture, if you treat someone, it means that you like that person. Okay, so that's different different culture. So um, yeah, it, this is right. Jadi kalau ada uh, native or friends or European treat you, it means they like you. Like means personal. Uh, it depends. Okay. Then by the guy too. Yeah. <laughs> What? What did I did? Uh, if the if a guy asking me for dinner, does that mean he like me or something? Oh, if if a guy uh, treat you and you are also a guy, I did hear that's what you mean. Yes. Yeah, there's possibility like with that. There is possibility. Listen to me. Yeah, so um, you, you, you say, you have to say, no, thank you. Well, uh, no, I'll say yes. It's a free dinner. <laughs> oh, yeah, free dinner, dinner. right. Um, yeah, it's, it's just different culture. I don't know if you live overseas. Uh, just say, I will go with my friends, right? I'm not going to be alone. That's okay. You can go. But if you go alone, I, I don't know what happened to you like. Okay, <laughs> I'm just joking. All right. Um, the next picture is this one. There is a um, there is a man carrying books, heavy books, and then uh, many books. Uh, too much. Many books. Uh, it seems that he is quite heavy, uh, having problem. And this one is it? A, I don't know. Is it? A, is it a male or female? I don't know. Is it? I think it's a boy. I think right? it's uh, maybe boy. Male. Let's go with boy. Oh, yeah. Let's go with a boy. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, which oh, one? Boy. May I help you? Uh, can, I help? Uh, can I help? Or may I help mm -hmm. you? Or this man can say... Mm -hmm. You'd like me to carry the book? The <laughs> boy assists the professor carrying the book. Okay, sure. Good. It means that this is intention. Intentional. Um, you can say... Um, you, need, you, you don't say, need help? Dear professor, don't say that. You say, may I help you? Oh, it seems to me that you're having a problem. Can I help you? Things like that. All right, now this one, the last picture in helping each other section. What happened? This uh, woman... The woman need to... Need a... Uh, salt. Oh. A salt. Yes, salt. What would she say? Uh, please pass the salt, number uh, 20. Good. Please pass, pass the salt. The salt. Pass the salt to whom? To whom? To, to his yeah. husband? This one or which one? Uh, where's the salt? Here. To, his, to her daughter? Yeah, to her daughter with the long hair, right? With a yep. ponytail. Yes. We, they call it ponytail. Ekor kuda. Kuda pony. It's a ponytail <laughs> hair. Uh, okay, so, so that's a different way of how expressing uh, different words. So different culture, different. Uh, I also teach cross culture understanding. The campus UIN saya mengajar mata kuliah cross culture understanding. There, there are a lot of interesting topics that I discover. Uh, the way non-verbal language between uh, between the same gender, different gender. We talk about that one. And um, this one expressing sympathy. Sympathy, um, bul bulgarize, bul. Burglary, burglarize, car theft, comfort, condolences. So which one that you don't know? Which one? Most of them. Most of them. Wow. Okay, this is expressing sympathy. It's a very cultural thing. Um, we give flowers when people are dead. 
uh, for example. But in our culture, we give flower for married for wedding. Uh, Bulgari ini pencurian, perampokan. Bulgari. Uh, number three, car theft, pencurian mobil. Comfort, mobil. nyaman. Condolences, condolences means uh, ucapan belasungkawa. Console, console means that you um, try to connect with that uh, people who have problems or uh, crisis, death, kematian. Extend sympathy, extend sympathy that when you hear something bad happen to a certain people and when you send messages or video showing them that you'll be sympathy. A funeral is like this, funeral pemakaman. Gravesite, gravesite means uh, di tepi kuburan, is a gravesite. Kalau graveyard means kuburan, kuburan. Grave, grave, yes, graveyard. Yes. Um, and then grief, grief, grief and remorse almost the same, but grief mean uh, perasaan berduka yang paling dalam. Grief, kalau remorse, remorse means uh, murung sedih seperti. In mourning, uh, mourning sama seperti berduka, pakai baju hitam, semua serba hitam seperti. Tapi enggak enggak seperti saya. It's different. In time of need, uh, call, uh, in time of need, ini uh, dalam waktu perlu loss, mourn ini sama mourn, sadden, sadness, sorrow, sorrow, sorrow. You cannot say sorrow when you lose your girlfriend, for example, or your boyfriend or girl. You cannot say that I'm in sorrow. No, it's wrong way to put it. <laughs> This is wrong way. To If you if you lose your um, your member of your family, you would say I'm in sorrow. Fine, yeah, we we'll understand that. But if you say sorrow, I lose my friend, I lose my girlfriend, my boyfriend. So no, it's not relevant uh, because people will not sympathy for that. You can find another one. Yeah, Sorry, don't care about that. I'm joking. Um, now we have uh, we have the next one is uh, stolen. Stolen. You will basically it's about <laughs> money or stuff. Sympathize. Unhappy and upset. Which one is uh, different? Unhappy, upset. What's that? Unhappy and upset. Are they the same or different? Uh, different. Kind of different. Different. Unhappy and upset. Unhappy means that you are disappointed. You feel so. Um, How could this happen to me? This unhappy. Yeah. Upset means just you don't accept things happening. Tidak yeah. tidak menerima kejadian yang terjadi. That's upset. Yeah, so it's different. Okay, now we come to this picture. Jadi tadi makna sudah saya jelaskan beberapa kosakatanya. Coba kita lihat di gambar ini. How does they relate? The first picture is the uh, in the room. In morning, mm. morning, grief, uh, funeral, 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 and then saying condolences. Yes, saying condolences. 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 Um, this one, the next picture. Mm, crisis. Uh, state crisis. of shock. Good. State of shock. Shock. Uh, sadness and uh, crisis. And the last um, one. Uh, uh, bur burglary, uh, burglary. Stolen. Good, good. Burglary, uh, perampokan ya. Yeah. Okay, good. Right. So it's very Kemalingan. interesting. Mm -hmm. Well, the time is less than one minute. So, so the next week we'll cover personal life. Uh, unit one, we have covered it up. Uh, please pay attention to the vocabulary. Uh, we're going to, to discuss more about that. Um, So next week we will uh, we will be talking more about uh, personal life and um, daily life, favorite food, friends, childhood memories, all those things. Please look at your book in unit two. We'll cover more about that next week. All right. Um, okay, sir. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes, sir. Um, you will see your video in my YouTube channel after this, in case you would like to read it again, because this one is being recorded. Okay. Oh my god. Surprise, eh? <laughs> That's okay. I'm fine with that. I did we are famous. Yeah, every, yes, I am. Every, 